clothing and equipment are essential for skiing. So if it's your first skiing experience and you're not sure what to wear, then this short video tip will help you to get a quick guide on what to wear. The best way to dress for skiing is to focus on one layer of clothing at a time. And the first thing you want to use is a good set of base layers. The first part, base layer. They are like long underwear, but they aren't made to keep you warm. They're made to keep you dry. Made of either synthetic materials like polyester or natural fibers like merino wool, base layers actively transport sweat off your skin so it can evaporate in a process called wicking. Wear a thermo top. Choose a thin wicking thermo shirt fitted to your chest. Opt for synthetic materials like polypropylene. Wool is also a good option as it naturally regulates heat, weak sweat, and has antimicrobial properties. Also, put on thermal pants. Make sure these are thin and fitting against your legs. Next to better fit will keep you warm. Choose a synthetic fabric to wick away moisture. The second part, second layer or mid layer. On top of your base layer, you want to add one or more thin jumpers made of fleece or wool. Wear a sweater or jacket with a half or full size with a standard collar. This will keep you warmer. Look for underwear zippers known as pit pants to allow sweat to escape properly. Put on mid-layer pants as well. This layer might be optional with current fabric technology for base and outer layers. If you do need mid-layer pants, go for something relatively tight to allow the outer layer to slide on with no problem. The third part, third layer or outer layer. To top everything off, you need a weatherproof outer layer to keep the elements out. A good quality ski jackets and trousers will make sure that wind, snow, sleet and rain stay out while your warmth stays in. Opt for something roomy enough to comfortably accommodate your layers but not too loose or bulky. The ski jackets and pants should include waterproof bedable fabrics, heat retaining insulation, and a powder skirt that should fit well and allow you to move comfortably. Wear your ski socks. Wear only one pair of socks to keep your feet from sweating too much. Your socks should be thin but warm. And if you're renting boots, choose slightly thicker socks for comfort. And make sure they have padding to protect your shins when they press against your ski boots. Next is your ski boots. Any other boots won't clip your skis. Buy or rent boots that fit the width of your feet and the length of your toes. Look for boots with good flexibility for comfort and control. And since you're a beginner, avoid stiff boots designed for racing. Protecting your head, face, hand, and skin. Ski accessories. Headwear. A helmet or a bini. A hat will keep your head warm, but a helmet will protect you from head injuries. Make this a rule for any condition you could be skiing in. Helmets come in basic low-tech varieties or high-tech forms with headphones if you want to listen to music as you ski. For additional warmth, wear a form-fitting hat under the helmet. Eyewear Goggles Spend extra money on high-quality goggles that protect you from snow, blindness, and help you to navigate cloudy conditions with few shadows. They'll also protect you from flying debris that can get caught in your eyes. When you come back from the slopes, allow your goggles to dry outside their protective case to prevent mold buildup. Sleep on a gaiter. A gaiter is a felt tube that you sleep on your neck. Pull it over your mouth on, especially cold days. Always keep the bottom of the gaiter under the collar of your ski jacket. Hand warmer. Put on ski gloves. Make sure that they're designed for skiing. Regular gloves won't give you the protection you need. Ski gloves are thicker and have a rubber lining on the outside for easy grip. If you plan on skiing in a very cold climate and or harsh terrain, buy gloves with wrist protection and a built-in inner glove. Protect exposed skin with sunblock. No matter what the conditions are on the slopes, this is a must. You can get a sunburn even if it's cold and overcast. Oak for SPF 15 to 30, depending on how fair your skin is. 
Don't forget about your lips. Slatter and lip balm with an SPF of at least 15. So there you go. We're all set for your first ski. Make sure you don't forget anything on your way out. You'll be sure to stay warm and dry no matter the weather is. So you can focus on what's important. Having fun on your ski.